what do you what is your what is your opinion on uh, like the Tesla Powerwall? And then uh, also for a rep's perspective, or like I know a lot of sales guys, they talk to these homeowners and these homeowners, they, I want Tesla, I want Tesla, even though Tesla maybe might not make the most sense for them or they might not even be able to get it for them if they wanted to. What is like your, how would you help someone to maybe pivot away or help a rep pivot their customer away from something like a Tesla Powerwall and to something like one of your products? Yeah, so typically how I say from a sales approach is, is educate, differentiate, and demonstrate, right? So take that kind of facet. Anytime someone has a path and you need to obviously do a course correction, you have to do that with facts, emotion, and obviously a, a, a transfer a transfer emotion from a sales standpoint, right? So educate, differentiate, and demonstrate it. So typically what we've seen is for one, I, I do have to give Tesla credit. And the fact is I have a business because of them. They put batteries on the market um, and allowed for that adoption in the industry. It also created standards for us to obviously come through and, and try to compete against. And uh, it, it's really helped my business a ton. Um, it's been unfortunate around supply chain in different ways. And so, you know, that's allowed us to grow even further with Tesla being delayed on, on available product that had people searching elsewhere. And that's how we've grown 4X every year for the last three years. But ultimately, the Tesla is an integrator. If you think of it this way is, is that uh, the batteries inside, they don't make, Panasonic makes them. The inverter, that hybrid inverter inside that, that battery, also they don't make, they, they have another supplier for that you know they've used their delta inverters for their tesla roof tiles for a lot of years and so it's those kind of things to where you got to realize that they're they're that integrator in our case we we, we make the majority of our products and and we own the vendors that that we actually supply through and so there's a significant performance component what i've seen is i've been into sometimes they don't let me out of the office here ceo sometimes but when i do get in the opportunity where i've got a buddy or mine says hey man can you just hop on a call with me and a customer tonight and i'm happy to i, I love that that kind of experience but uh client goes through we're going through and then we're we're selecting the loads that they want to back up right and we're doing our ai plus 50 just our base package they're just looking for what they've said essentials and the client says right at the end of the meeting and, and he says well what about that wall what about that tesla wall and i said that's a great product as well and it just so happens that my buddy also offers that product and 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 I, I won't say his name but i said hey why don't you go ahead and just tell him about that i was kind of testing him a little bit and the first thing came out of his mouth like yeah we can offer that to you the only thing is we're gonna need to drop 20 amps of these breakers so or we're gonna have to add a second battery to be equivalent and the customer's like, well, why would I do that? It's like, well, that's that's kind of our purpose. We stores power out, performs two Tesla power walls, but installs 22% cheaper than one. The customer's like, well, that's the end of that conversation. And we, we went on. But typically what we've seen is customers typically want to back up more. If that wasn't the case, a sales rep wouldn't have to oversell that just a bit more than it really can, right? Stating whole home or stating that it can start your air conditioner or saying that it can charge an EV vehicle. In this case, we have that availability where we can do those bigger loads with single systems instead of having to put a big capex on it. So our model here is, is build a smarter battery, not a bigger battery with emphasis on sustainability, meaning is how we're actually consuming raw materials, um, especially right now in this supply chain uh, new world that we live in. And then the second focus is, is then affordability, meaning is, is that making it to where a customer can afford to protect their homes or families and sometimes their assets. Sometimes that's the money in their pocketbook and uh, using AI to actually do more with less. That's awesome. I like I like what you're, the way that uh, you're, the person you're working with handled kind of the, the question about the Tesla Powerwall because he was respect, basically respectfully telling him that Tesla's product kind of sucks compared to yours. And that's not, that's, but doing it respectfully is the key. I think a lot of times you see people or homeowners that all they see on like, a lot of it comes down to crappy marketers out there that use Tesla power walls and solar shingles. And that's like what they're advertising because they know people are interested in that. And that's like everyone, so everyone always wants to ask about those. Yeah. But a lot of times solar reps come in and they're like, oh, you don't want that. Those, those suck compared to this. They're a lot like, and they don't. But when you do that, it, it kind of reflects negatively on yourself. And it doesn't necessarily make you look like someone who is at least, you're not explaining to them why it sucks. Or if you're doing it in kind of that way, you're not 
necessarily showing Tesla the respect that I think a lot of us should give Tesla because uh, more people are looking at solar and batteries because of them. Uh, just like with the electric cars, like all these, uh, all the big car companies now are doing these, like they, they have the giant trucks, they have all these electric vehicles, the electric vehicles are now at the forefront and that would have never happened if it wasn't for Tesla. And yeah. this is kind of, uh, but I do think that's very, very important because I think a lot of solar reps that I have spoke with, like they get customers that they, they, they the customer is interested in Tesla and they just say, oh, we don't want Tesla, we have this. Yeah. And they never really get the customer around to understanding why Tesla is not the best suit option for them. Yeah, that's why I simply use the fact is, you know, educate, differentiate and demonstrate, right? That's how you have you build value. It's no different to where, you know, you're a Ford guy and I'm a GM guy. And I said, you know what? Um, my GM is better than you because you bought a Ford because you don't have that. Instead, I would approach you and say, hey, Kyle, how do, you, how do you like your Ford? Well, I like it because this, this, this and this. And that's great, man. I'm glad you guys made that decision. And, and I actually went to the GMC, and these are some of the reasons that I liked the GMC and why I made that decision. And that brings that transition of influence where, like, you're actually using facts and demonstration to see some of the reasons of both positive two good decisions to meet each other's lifestyle and goals. But yet, I might actually get you to buy a GM next time in a nice and, and uh, cordial way.